Okay, thanks, Steven. So let's go for going to going over two examples on geometric sequences. So let's go ahead and write down the instruction for the examples. So uh, with, with given information, with the given information about a geometric sequence, Metric sequence in order to find find a the explicit formula for the nth term the explicit explicit um, formula for the nth nth term. Then um, it defined next the uh, uh, next three uh, terms of the sequence a sequence in two ways. Okay. Starting from the first, I want you to find the next three terms in two ways. And then um, you're to uh, lastly find the value of the seventh term, of the seventh term, okay? All right, so let's start out with the A part. Uh, so for number one, the uh, information that we have is A1 is equal to negative two, and R, the, comma, the ratio, comma ratio is negative four, okay? We know that this is the information for a geometric se sequence because we have a comma ratio. If it were D for common difference, then we'll know that it's an arithmetic um, uh, sequence, but this is geometric. All right, so for the A part, we want to find the explicit formula. So the formula for the explicit uh, for the nth term is uh, an equals a1, the first term, times the comma ratio raised to the number of terms minus 1. All right, so that's the formula we're using. Now, uh, we need three variables here. We need to know the value of three variables in order, in order to be able to do this, actually two. So we need the first term, a1. a1 is negative 2. The comma ratio r, we are not told that is negative 4. And we do not know since we're looking for the nth term, which means a n is also going to be an unknown a n. All right, so let's put uh, all of this together into this formula. So we're going to have a n equals a1, which is negative 2, times the comma ratio of negative 4 raised to the n minus 1. Okay, so this is the formula for the nth term the nth term of the uh, geometric sequence. So let's box that so we can go back to it in the future. All right, so now we have the formula for the nth term. Now let's advance to part B. Okay, so for part B, we have to find the next three terms of the geometric sequence in two ways. Okay, so for part B, uh, uh, method one, well, we're going to be using the form, the formula, okay, formulaic approach, formulaic. Basically, we're going to be using this formula that we generated uh, up here to, to find out what the next three terms are, okay? All right, so um, we already know that A1 is negative 2. We don't need to find that. So we need to find the next three, okay? So A2 basically means we plug in 2 into, this, into the end here. So it's going to be negative 2 times negative 4 raised to the n is now 2, right? So 2 minus 1. All right, so let's work this out. This is going to become negative 2 times negative 4 to the first power, uh, which equals negative 2 times negative 4, which is 8. Okay? 
All right, now let's go ahead and find the next term, a3. a3 is going to be negative 2 times negative 4 raised to the what? 3 this time, minus 1. Remember, we're plugging in the n into the power right here, which equals negative 2 times negative 4 to the 3 minus 1, which is 2. Okay? So that becomes negative 2 times 16. And then we multiply these two up to get negative 32. Okay, one more, a fourth term. A4 is going to be negative 2 times negative 4 to the 4 minus 1, which equals negative 2 times negative 4 to the third, which equals negative 2 times negative 64. And then we multiply these two, you get negative 128. Okay? So the, the next three terms of our of our geometric sequence, we have negative 2, and then the next three are 8, negative 32, and negative 128. Now to ensure that these three values we came up with are correct, let's verify uh, our results using another method, which is the arithmetic method. So method 2, we're just going to use arithmetic, okay, basic multiplication to to determine the terms. All right, so method two, we're going to start with the first one and just use a comma ratio. Okay, arithmetic. All right, now uh, for, we know that A1 is negative two. Let me partition my workspace so we don't get confused. A1 is negative two. And what is, if the comma ratio is negative four, and what is A2 going to be? A2 is simply going to be the previous term multiplied by the comma ratio. It's going to be negative 2 times the comma ratio of negative 4. That's what a geometric sequence is. You just keep multiplying by the same thing over and over again. So this gives 8. A3. What is A3? Well, it's going to be the previous term, which is 8, multiplied by what? The common ratio, which is negative 4. That doesn't change. A times negative 4 is negative 32. And then A4, the fourth term, is going to be the previous term, negative 32 times the comma ratio of negative 4. And when you multiply that, you're going to get 128. All right, is that what we got in the previous uh, method? Absolutely. You have the 8 match, negative 32 match, and the 128, actually negative the signs aren't working out here. Suppose we positive 128. So this one is actually wrong. Let's fix that. It's positive 128. The signs should alternate. Okay, so that matches. Okay, so there goes the terms of your of your uh, uh, sequence, geometric sequence. All right, let's move on to question the, the C part. So for the C part, we have to find um, the uh, seventh term. So for the C part, we're going to look for A7. Okay? We have to find A7. So um, to find A7, we're going to be using the formula for the nth term. Let's write down the side. An is equal to A1R to the N minus 1. And we know that A1 is negative 2. The comma ratio is still the same, negative 4. And n in this case is 7 because we're looking for the seventh term. So if we plug all this into this formula, we're going to have a7 equals um, a1, which is negative 2, times the comma ratio of negative 4 raised to the, uh, let's see, raised to the 7 minus 1. Okay? So that's going to yield negative 2 times negative 4 to the sixth power, okay? So how do you enter this? You have to be really careful when you're entering this into your calculator. The slightest, mis the slightest mistake can throw up your answer significantly, okay? So let's go ahead and enter this expression into our calculator. So we are going to have, um, what do we have? We have parentheses negative 2 times negative 4 raised to the sixth power, and our output is negative, um, 
8192. Okay, so the seventh term is negative 8192. All right, so uh, there you have it. All right, let's take a look at um, question number two. So for question two, uh, we actually have some of the some terms of the sequence. We have one, six, thirty-six, dot dot dot. Okay. All right. So the a part we have to find the nth term. I mean the explicit formula for the nth term. So we're going to be using the formula a n equals a one times r to the n minus one. In this uh, geometric sequence, a one is equal to one. Um, the common ratio R is given by A2 divided by A1. Or you ask yourself, what do you multiply by every time? So 6 divided by 1 equals 6. All right. And, and then N, since we're looking for the nth term, is simply N. Okay? All right. So the nth term of our uh, geometric sequence, A sub N, is going to be... Uh, a1, which is 1, times the common ratio of 6, raised to the n minus 1, as indicated in this formula right here, n minus 1. 1 is a multiplicative identity, so we can just drop that. So that reduces to a n equals 6 to the n minus 1. All right? So this is the explicit formula for the nth term of the geometric sequence defined by the numbers that we were given are here, 1, 6, 36. All right? Okay, now the B part, we are to find the uh, the first, the next three terms of the sequence in two ways. All right, so method one, of course, we're going to use a formula, use a formulaic approach. Use a formula. All right, so let's use a formula to generate A4, 5, and 6, since we already have A1, 2, 3. Okay? All right, so... Um, A4, well, let's write down the formula that we're going to be using first. We're going to, oh, well, we have it up here. Okay, so don't bother. So A4 is going to be 6 to the 4 minus 1, which is 6 to the 3rd. And if you work that out in your calculator, you get 216. A5 is equal to 6 to the 5 minus 1 which is 6 to the 4th. 6 to the 4th is 1,296. A6, which is 6 to the 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 7. Uh, 6 minus 1 is 5, so 6 to the 5th power. Work that out in your calculator, you get 7,776. 7, okay? For the, the next three terms, we have one, we're given 1, 6, 36. So the next three are 216, 1,296, and 7,776. Notice that, um, yeah, these are, these are the three numbers and all the signs are the same, okay? If the common ratio is negative, then that causes the signs to alternate. Now let's uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at method two. This is method one, the formulaic approach. Method two is going to be arithmetic to verify that our answer is in fact correct. Okay, method two. Uh, let's uh, arithmetic. Let's just simply uh, generate the next three terms just by multiplying. Okay. All right. So let's do this. All right, so uh, we have, let's see, um, A4, what is A4 going to be? Well, since the common ratio as determined before is 6, that means we keep multiplying by 6. Now, if the third term is 36, how do we generate A4? To do that, what we'll do is we're going to take the previous term in the sequence, which is 36, and multiply by the common ratio, which is 6, okay? 36 times 6, if you work that out in your calculator, um, you get, this is 90 plus 30, 180 plus 
uh, what's 36 is 216. And then A5 is the previous term, which is 216 multiplied by 6. Let's uh, verify that with our calculators. 216 times 6. Take that out. Um, 216 times 6, which is 1,296. Write that down. 1,296. And then the next term, the third term, uh, is going to be a6, which is two six, I mean 1,296, which is the previous term, um, times times uh, 6. And we can work that out with our calculators. 1,296 times 6 times the previous number, times the previous result by 6. And the answer is 7,776. 7,000. 776. So we see that our answers agree. In cases our answers agree, we are confident that um, our results are in fact correct. Okay, so this checks out because it matches with these three results that we have over here. All right, so that's that. Now let's move on to the C part, which is to find the seventh term of the uh, geometric sequence. Okay, so C, A7. Um, is simply going to be, we're just going to use the formula, the explicit formula to generate it right here. So uh, it's simply going to be 6 to the 7 minus 1, which is um, 6 to the 6th power. 6 to the 6th power is, uh, you can work this out with your calculator, 6, six raised to the 6th power. And your final answer is 46,656. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. So it's 46,656. Okay, so there you have it. And thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. Um, and you can post a comment to let me know what you think about this clip. More clips come and find on MacBook Thanks again and have a wonderful day.